what is up beautiful people it's me tara j back again with another one and today as you can see from the title i am doing a face wash routine how i wash my face the products that i use but before we get into that i do want to make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so go ahead right now subscribe to my channel especially if this is the first time clicking my video this is the first time here thank you so much for clicking on my video be sure to join the tj fam i talk about face care all the time facial mask face wash all of that good stuff so in this video i will be trying out a new product for you guys to tell you guys what i think and just put it into my face wash routine but subscribe now guys and if this is yet again another video that you are watching i truly appreciate you thank you so much go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and i will really appreciate that as well but let's get into it all right beautiful people so here is the products that i will be using I, of course, use, normally I use my de Desert Essence, but I'm not going to be using that this time because I am trying out a new product. Like I said, this is the Myel Organics. It is the Vitamin C Under Eye Gel Drops. It's pomegranate honey. And this is the 2-in-1 face scrub and cleanser that I have here. It's supposed to help exfoliate your skin, clean, cleanse pores, and by, I'm sorry, it says... <laughs> Helps exfoliate skin and cleanse pores by removing dirt, oil, and impurities. So, I am looking forward to that. So, after that, I do use my, of course, my face exfoliator. It's so soft. It's so perfect. I am, it's called Kala. I actually got this from Marshalls for about six bucks. I wish it was a mechanical one, but it still serves its purpose. I use this side. I'm not too sure if you are supposed to use this side, but I definitely do use this side. This side is a little bit harder than this side, as you can see. So when I cleanse my face, I just use this side so I can exfoliate really good. And then I go back in with this one and I just keep flipping it back and forth. I probably do it about twice both sides before I rinse out and rinse my face. Following that, I'll, this is the following step that I do. I put this in the refrigerator for about three to five minutes or just the time that I have to wash my face. This is just a face roller. It also exfoliates. It's, it's really hard. You probably don't know that it's hard, but it's like really hard things on here that you roll under your skin. And it also is supposed to get your blackheads and get your bumps together, okay? So this is also what I use. And besides that, that's it, just water. This is what I do daily to keep my skin together. I'm not sure how I got that bump. I think I touched my face one day when I was working out and boom, I got a bump on my face. But it is going away, so I am excited about that. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my face and let you guys know what I think, okay? All right, ladies. All right, ladies, so of course, the first step that I do is flush my face. I put water all over my face as such. And then I go in with my face cleanse. This is the product again that I will be using. Just to let you guys know, this is my first time using this, so I don't want you guys to think she been using that. Nah, I'm opening it up right here on the camera so you guys can see. This is my first time ever using this, my Yellow Organics products. And you guys are going to get the real first effect of it. It looks beautiful. Look how it looks. It, look, it has those exfoliating beads in it. Do you see it? You probably can't see it that much, but it does have those exfoliating beads in it that is supposed to exfoliate your skin. It smells wonderful. I love the smell of honey. So I'm gonna go ahead and just rub it around my face. And this is actually what I do with my Desert Essence. If you don't know, that is my favorite face wash of all time. I have been using that. It's also vegan. It's a vegan face wash, but this is, is this, what is this? What would this be consider? It doesn't say, I don't think this was vegan because if it was, it would have the stamp on it so it isn't that it does say it does no parabens no sulfite no paraffins no mineral oil no synthetic colors no dea no animal testing so 
that's good it's tingly i feel it tingly already uh-oh i think i may like this but i may not because i had a i used this facial what is it called i cannot remember what it's called but i'll put the picture up at the top i use that facial um stuff on my face everyone talks about how it's so great it's so great but my skin tends doesn't really like it that much like it really dries it it dries it out and you can it makes my different skin tones really 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 pop out major more than it normally does regularly like you know everyone got like four different tones of melanin on them it really pops out like really major with that and i don't really like it and also feels it burns I mean, I'm not going to say burns, but it, it looks like my face was burnt after that. That probably don't even make sense if you don't understand what I mean. What it looks like when you got, when you have the facial on for too long, and your face is like on fire. That's what it feels like. But this is actually, it kind of burns too, actually. But it could be working. That could be something that it's doing that is working. So I'm going to let it do its thing for now. I'm going to leave it on here for about maybe two minutes what would it what does it say on the back side how long should i have it on here it doesn't say to leave it on for two or any kind of minutes but i'm gonna let it sit for like two minutes and then i'm gonna go ahead and um exfoliate all right guys i am back and i just want to say that i do appreciate the coolness of it I do appreciate the fact that it is suds. I what I hate the most about face wash is the face wash that I cannot see. Like the fact that my face is white, I hate using a face wash that's clear and it doesn't do it doesn't lather, it doesn't sud, it doesn't do nothing. It just like it's water in there. I hate those face washes to death. If you guys know what I'm talking about, comment below. You know what I'm talking about. The face wash that you just like, oh, did I really just wash my face or flush my face with water? I don't know. But I'm gonna go ahead and um exfoliate my face now. This is super beautiful, super cute. Again, I got this from Marshalls for about five dollars and very inexpensive. And I use both sides of it. Not sure if you're supposed to, but do whatever you want to do, girl. It's your face. Okay. Then top a little water over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and get to it. I'm gonna just roll it around. It really doesn't, I really mismatch, really. Oh, I'm not sure if you can hear me, hold on. I mismatch, so sometimes I put, I use this side first and sometimes I use this side first. But, go here and rub, scrub, 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 scrub. It kinda looks like it's making my face kinda pinky. I wonder if that's the pomegranate that's doing that. You guys see my face kind of turning pinky? It's not this, because this is super soft, so it's not hurting my face at all. or scratching my face in any kind of way. So it gotta be the, the face wash. So now that I got it all lathered up, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the side. And I'm gonna use this side now. Let's go back in. You do wanna do circular motion just for your skin. You don't wanna like, you don't wanna scrape your skin up and scratch your skin up. That's not the good look. It already is rough enough and it pulls your skin, dry skin off. So you don't have to scrub it, just circular. Kind of like you massaging your skin. No big deal. Nothing too major, beautiful people. I don't want to get up inside of Well, I make sure I got to get up inside of here because it dries up up in there. Up inside, inside of my nose, the crevices. Oh, that's important. Just keep on going. And then I'm gonna flip it back over to the other side again. Just to 
pick up any excess skin that's left over from this side here. That skin good. Yes. Voila. Then I'm going to go ahead and rinse this off. Rinse it off, rinse it off. Then I'm going to go around my face again one more time. Both sides. Go around my face one more time. Just to pick up leftover sizes and yes guys this is how I take care of my skin skincare is so important oh especially for people like me that struggle with acne growing up I wish I had a picture for you guys. Like, if you look back, you would be like, yeah, right. You don't have no bumps on your face. But I really did. I was really a bumpy kind of girl back in the day. You would never know because I don't have any pictures to prove it. <laughs> and when you look back, like, yeah, right. Ten years ago, your face looked good. But it wasn't, guys. It wasn't. I swear it wasn't. It wasn't. I swear. Flip it over. Scrub it up real good. Just keep doing it in circular motion. I love the way this face, this exfoliate that I have feel on my skin. It feels wonderful. Skin it all, all in the crevices up in here inside of your eye. That's important. Because you'll be dried up. Real dry up in here. You want to get that good. And now, voila, guys. I'm going to rinse my face again. Go ahead and rinse the rest of this leftovers. Rinse this off my face. The lighting is tripping. Okay. Be sure to rinse this off. Very important. You don't want to leave leftover residue all over your, your exfoliator. And I'm going to sit this to the side so it can dry. Good thing about this, it dries really quickly. And I'm going to rinse my face again. I got it under my nails, so. Whew. Another thing that I do is I transition from hot to cold water. So when I, I started with the hot water, but I wanna finish with cold or cool water. Just rinse it. If you have a towel, you can go ahead and wipe your face with the towel too. Okay, guys. <laughs> I finally got it all off my face. And my face feels so soft. It feels wonderful. Like, it's so soft. It's just... I cannot believe it. It's so fluffy. And, ooh, look at that. It's just like a marshmallow. I love it when my face feels so plump and puffy. And it's just glowing. That was wonderful. So I'm gonna pat my face dry. I'm gonna go ahead and use my dry towel because it's my dry towel. Pat my face dry. <sighs> yes, yes, honey, yes, yes. So this is it. <sighs> This is what it looks like after my face is finished. It looks amazing. It's just so bright and it's just so live. 
it's a great feeling it definitely wake you up for sure for sure but next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and use these eye drops this is the same thing as like if you have facial oil or the serum oil or whatever you guys want to put on your face same thing i'm gonna go ahead and drop this under my eye It says um, massaging in one or two drops on your fingertips, but I'm gonna just go ahead and do it so you guys can see what it looks like. This is it here, and it will drop kind of, uh oh, it's bubbly. There you go. See? That is what it looks like. It's kind of like a syringe. I love this. I love the hair oil that they have too because it's also like a syringe. I feel like oil always should come out of one of these things. It's my opinion. I may be biased. I don't know. So I'm going to drop it. You know what? I'm gonna, I may put it on other parts of my face, but it does supposed to go under your eye here. Drop a little bit there. And I'm going to put a little bit over here. And down there. See? Three there. I can't really say what it smells like. I'm not sure yet. Under eye. And I'm just gonna go ahead and rub that in. Use my fingers, rub that in really good. Massage under my eye. This has vitamin C in it. Be sure not to get it in your eyes, ladies. It burned a little bit. Okay. Rub that in, rub that in. Now what we're gonna follow it up with is Our face scrubber so I'm just gonna damp this with cold cold water normally I will put it in the refrigerator and let it like freeze and be really cold but I'm gonna put it under some really really cold water and flush it around my face doesn't have to be too wet you just run it, run it over your skin anything that your face exfoliator may have missed this will pick it up break all your oak your um bumps that are coming out it'll break it up it'll catch it before it catches you okay there's different directions Next, you want to go get your favorite moisturizer, whatever moisturizer that you love to put on your face. I haven't found one yet that I love, that I'm like my go-to moisturizer. So if you guys know a good one, definitely comment below. Let me guys know what you guys think. What face moisturizer do you guys use? I'll try it out. My face is so sensitive and it dries out so fast. So all I really do is put coconut oil on my face and water or vitamin E oil or tea tree oil and call it a day. There we go. And I always rub this, rinse, soak this in some water after I'm finished. And then I wipe it down with some rubbing alcohol just to make sure it is clean and sanitized. So that make sure you do that. That's very important. And now that I have my face all washed and beautified, 
I'm gonna go ahead and give me some oil, like I said, to put on my face. I got a little bit of tea tree oil left because I'll be killing it. So I'm gonna drop this on my hand. The rest of it, no, you don't need a lot. You're just putting it on your face. Drop some jargons. Mix it in together. This is the face. This is, I love to put it on my hands too. But this is how I do. Okay, and moisturize the rest of my face. And there you have it. There you have it, beautiful people. That is my face care routine. This is how I handle my face every single day. I don't miss a day without washing and exfoliating my face because keeping your face clean and clear is the way to go. All right? But as you know it, guys, I'm Tara J, and I'm out. Peace.